Hello. In this demonstration, we will present how Parasoft C++ Test CT helps improve code quality and streamlines compliance with functional safety and process standards. C++ Test CT is a lightweight, command line oriented tool for C and C++ code dynamic testing. In between other features, it supports collecting multiple code coverage metrics from various testing practices and generating traceability reports from unit test execution. It's designed for automation and CI integrations and comes with an excellent VS Code extension. C++ Test CT simplifies achieving safety standards, goals and objectives. Some examples of the standards are ISO 26262, IEC 61508, IEC 62304 or DO178C. Unit testing, requirements-based testing, statement, branch and MCDC code coverage reports are all essential requirements from these standards. In our demonstration, we will show how to provide evidence for achieving code coverage goals from Google test-based unit testing and how to use Google test cases for requirements testing. Let's see it in practice. Our demo project is based on a popular open source library for inter-process communication. In our design, we plan to use it in the autonomous driving system. Our project is hosted in GitHub and team uses a modern CI-based development workflow with containerized toolchain and automated CI quality gates. For our code, we need ISO 26262 ASIL-D compliance. So far, in the early stage, project was developed with limited attention to standards compliance. Developers used Google Test to add unit test cases, but the process was not systematic, code coverage was not monitored, and testing was not traced to requirements. For our next compliance milestone, we have two goals. We want to start monitoring statement and MCDC code coverage metrics for the newly created code and we want to start tracing relevant tests to requirements. With Parasoft C++ Test CT, integrating code coverage into project builds is easy. There are dedicated integration packages for build systems such as CMake or Bazel. The tool is also very easy for containerization. To integrate the tool for our demo project, we need a small insertion in the CMake list file and a corresponding configuration file. With this change, our build targets are now extended with code coverage monitoring and we can move on to implementing new features. Let's say our task is implementing the mPlace method for a vector class. We do have a set of low-level requirements for this new code. As a developer, I've analyzed the specification and implemented the first version of the mPlace method. I've also added a first couple of unit test cases. Please note that my test cases are correlated with requirements via dedicated properties injected into test cases. This correlation establishes a test to requirement link that enables C++ Test CT to generate requirements traceability reports mandated by all safety standards. Now I'm interested in whether my tests pass and the code coverage level for my newly implemented code. Let me build the project, run new tests and generate code coverage reports. As you can see, the code was built and tests were executed. As a part of the build process, C++ Test CT generated code coverage reports. C++ Test CT generates reports in multiple formats, including raw text, machine processing friendly JSON and HTML. For developers, the VS Code extension is probably the most convenient way to analyze the results. Let's enable line coverage and look at the new code we added. As we can see, we do have some code coverage, but our basic tests examined only a part of the implementation. We need to add more test cases. 
we can derive additional test cases by requirements analysis. Let's add a few more tests, ensuring they are linked to appropriate requirements. And execute them. We expect coverage for the emplace method to increase now. And indeed, it seems we now have 100% line code coverage. We are now ready to push the code to the repository. And create a pull request. My pull request triggered the automated pipeline. The pipeline goes through several stages, including code coverage quality gate. Let's take a look at our pipeline definition while it executes. Here, the code coverage tool is enabled for the build. No other actions are required for the integration. Our default target includes building Google tests. Here, we execute binaries with unit tests, and here we invoke report generation targets added by C++ Test CT CMake extension. Once the report is generated, it's published to the GitHub pages so that the team can easily access it. Below are code coverage quality gates for statement and MCDC coverage metrics. Our current requirements for the quality gates are 100% statement and 90% MCDC code coverage for the new code. Let's go back to our pull request and see the pipeline result. It failed. It seems we have a problem with MCDC coverage. Our line coverage quality gate passed, but the MCDC coverage quality gate has failed. We simply did not achieve expected 90% of MCDC coverage for the new code. To understand the gaps, we can review the HTML report published on GitHub pages, or what may be more convenient for developers, we can view results using VS Code extension. C++ Test CT VS Code extension integrates with GitHub and automatically downloads the most recent results for the working branch. We can now analyze why our MCDC coverage quality gate failed. Let's see MCDC results for the method we are implementing. We have three decisions in the method. For two of them, we have achieved 100% MCDC code coverage. However, we still don't have the complete coverage for the first decision. Let's take a closer look. C++ Test CT provides extended MCDC coverage reporting that helps understand coverage gaps. In our situation, we have three conditions in the decision. The second and third conditions are already covered according to MCDC coverage requirements. We still don't have the coverage for the first condition. Here we have a list of test vectors that were executed as a part of our testing process. It includes information about the values that conditions were evaluated to and the outcome of entire decision. Below, we have information about missing test vectors. A great value is that the tool computes the minimal set of test vectors required for the complete coverage, helping developers to be more productive. In our case, we need a test vector to evaluate the first condition as true. It means we need a test case that tries to emplace an object at the position exceeding current capacity. Let's add this test case. In general, depending on the situation, different actions may be required to eliminate the coverage gaps, including changes in implementation, modification of requirements, and addition of missing tests. In our case, the code was correctly implemented following requirements, but the developer forgot to add a test case for a specific scenario. The problem was detected thanks to C++ Test CT based quality gate. Let's make sure our new test case is correlated with appropriate requirement. And now we are ready to push the code again. 
this operation triggered a pipeline for our pull request. Let's give it a minute to finish. All right, it seems our coverage quality gates passed and we are now ready to merge the code into master. For the master branch, we have a dedicated pipeline verifying integrated code. This pipeline executes extensive set of tests and monitors the code coverage for the entire project. Our merge operation triggered this pipeline. The results of this pipeline represent the current status of our stable branch. Our master pipeline sends the results to Parasoft DTP, the reporting platform. Parasoft DTP aggregates results from different types of testing and presents results in graphs, trends and compliance reports. With these widgets, I can monitor my progress in various compliance aspects, including the progress with the code coverage. I can also check the progress with requirements implementation and testing. With this widget, I get information about the number of requirements already covered with test cases and those that are not, and require attention. This information allows me to react if my progress with compliance goals including code coverage, is too slow. This kind of insight is essential for any persona involved in the safety, security or quality process management. And this is the end of our demonstration. Let's recap. In our demo, we presented a CI-based workflow where C++ Test CT was used to satisfy coverage and requirements traceability reporting objectives stemming from the safety standard. In our demonstration, the development toolchain including C++ Test CT was containerized and used for CI pipelines and other developers desktop. We have gone through the following sequence. Developers started working on a new code in the feature branch. Here C++ Test CT was used on the developers desktop. Then the pull request was created where C++ Test CT was used as a coverage quality gate. On the first attempt, code was rejected and the developer downloaded pipeline results to the local IDE for a remediation. After applying fixes, code was successfully merged. For merge code in the master branch, another pipeline was executed. The master pipeline results were sent to Parasoft DTP for trends and compliance status analysis. And this concludes our video. Please get in touch with us if you would like to learn more about how Parasoft C++ Test CT can help your organization achieve quality and standards compliance goals. Thank you for watching.